emergency. Please send help. I mean, what, what happened? I think he's dead. Please, he was shot. Okay, how? I mean, what's going on right now? I think he needs help. The hardest task one can have is to continue to love his fellows despite all reasons he should not. And the true sign of sanity and greatness is to so continue. For the one who can achieve this, there is abundant hope. For those who cannot, there is only sorrow, hatred, and despair. A primary trap is to succumb to invitations to hate. True greatness merely refuses to change in the face of bad actions against one. And a truly great person loves his fellows because he understands them. After all, they are all in the same trap. Some are oblivious of it. Some have gone mad because of it. Some of us are subject to those pressures and still go on doing our jobs. Others have long since succumbed and rave and torture and strut like the demented souls they are. We can at least understand the one fact that greatness does not stem from savage wars or being known. It stems from being true to one's own decency, from going on helping others, whatever they do or think or say, and to persevere without changing one's basic attitude. To that degree, true greatness depends on total wisdom. Why should one change and begin to hate just because others have lost themselves and their own destinies are too cruel for them to face? The real lesson is to learn to love. He who would walk scatheless through his days must learn this. Never use what is done to one as a basis for hatred. It requires real strength to love man, and to love him despite all invitations to do otherwise, all provocations and all reasons why one should not. Happiness and strength endure only in the absence of hate. To hate alone is the road to disaster. To love is the road to strength. To love in spite of all is the secret of greatness and may very well be the greatest secret in this universe. To love in spite of all is the secret of greatness and may very well be the greatest secret in this universe.